Hello, my dear, dear friends. I pray that you are all having a blessed day. I believe that it is through the divine leading of the Holy Spirit that you are here with me right now, listening and finding encouragement. I pray that this blesses your soul. This channel is dedicated to hurting marriages. You may be a wife or a husband standing for your marriage. This channel is for you. Thank you for being a blessing to me and my family. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so, so that we can always be together every time I come on. My dear friends, how many times have you raised your hand in exasperation and surrender and said, I messed up. I myself have said this to myself and to my prayer partners countless times in the past. I messed up and God now will never answer my prayers. Now there is no hope for my marriage to ever be restored. My dear friends, stop. Do not put God in a box. Stop limiting what God can do. That's what we do when we say that God will never do something because we have done something wrong. We've committed a mistake. We are limiting Him and putting Him into our own little human box. My dear friends, God is so much bigger than our box. God is never limited by our mistakes. He is not hindered by the stupid, silly things that we do. The truth is that nothing, nothing is impossible for God. It doesn't matter how many mistakes we make as long as we keep on seeking Him for solutions. What are you thinking? What are you thinking right now that cannot be fixed because of a mistake that you have made? Do you think your circumstances are too hard? Do you think that you just have messed up things? Do you believe that because of your mistakes, your marriage is far from being restored? Do you think because of your circumstances, your spouse's salvation is impossible? My dear friends, we read in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 27, that Jesus himself referring to salvation told those who questioned him that what is impossible for man is possible with God. I messed up and now God will never, my dear friends, you are never too far gone that God would never fix the mess your life is in. I am here to tell you that nothing is too far gone. Nothing is too hard. Remember the dry bones? Remember Lazarus? Nothing is too dead. There is nothing that God cannot overcome. You just have to stop putting God in your box and start believing. Stop thinking that you have a hand in this. You do not. There is nothing that you can do or not do to stop what God has ordained for you in your life. Maybe you are thinking that your marriage is too far gone for God to save it. The divorce went through. There is a baby. Your spouse has married the other person or whatever other scenario that you can think of. My dear friends, it is still not too hard for God. I have seen God work through each of those scenarios in a mighty, mighty way. I have seen God work miracles that no one believed were possible. 
God has worked miracles in my own life that no one ever believed could have happened. Nothing, my dear friends, is too far gone for God. So my dear friends, I strongly, strongly encourage you, stop looking at your circumstances. The world is going to deceive you. Choose to see the unseen. You see, my dear friends, you limiting the power of God, thinking that you messed up so it's never going to happen, is you thinking that you are mightier and more powerful than God. No, no, my dear friends. Again, nothing is impossible possible with God. I know how hard it can be. I've lived it. It is so easy to put God in our box and limit His power. It is so easy to think with a human mind because we are human. But my dear friends, it is time to stop limiting what God can do Start believing that it is already done. Open your box and throw it out. Have faith and believe that nothing, nothing is impossible with God. My dear friends, He has done it for so many people I know, for so many marriages. He has restored restored nations, He has restored families, He has restored marriages. Now, if He did it for one person, if He did it for all of these people, believe with all of your heart, with all of your mind, and with all of your soul, He can and will do it for you. Dear friends, all you need is faith. Believe that God is stronger, mightier, and more powerful than the mess that you have done, than the mess that your spouse has done, because nothing is impossible with God. My dear friends, all you need is faith. Faith in God. Faith in His power. Faith that your marriage will be restored. Live your life claiming it as if it was already done. Because my dear friends, it is done. Believe me, it is done. So my dear friends, I hope and pray that this has blessed you today, that this has blessed and given encouragement to you in your stand. God is greater than anything in this world. Stop, stop blaming yourself for anything and start praising and giving thanks to Him. Start claiming it in the name of Jesus. So I continue to pray for all of you. God bless you all. Have a good day.